Um, so we'll just kind of talk about what it is, how it works, um, and then we're going to talk about the question of will it evolve and turn us all into zombies? Down. Down you go. Yes. <laughs> so, what is cordyceps? So basically, it is just a genus of fungus. Um, there are over 600 variations of this specific fungus. Um, but the one we're going to be talking about today is called um, Opiocordyceps unilateris. It's also known as zombie ant fungus. Um, so this is an image right here of what happens specifically to an ant. Um, and we'll get more into that. Um, but yeah, it infects um, a couple different types of insects, um, spiders, ants, caterpillars. Um, and they're usually found in warmer temperatures, such as tropical forests in Thailand, Central America, um, and other foreign countries in the south. Or... So how does it work? So the cordyceps virus is spread through spores. So it's coming from pre-existing fungus already. Um, so I'll have an image here soon. Um, but the fungus will fall onto the insect. That fungus will then take over that insect by basically controlling their behaviors. Um, as the infection spreads, it then starts to um, take control and grow in the actual insect itself. Um, so this is an image right here of the uh, fungus eventually growing out through the body. Um, so that stem-like fungus is called a stroma, and that is where all of the spores um, that will infect other insects then come from. Um, so once they have basically been taken control of by this fungus, they will find a branch or a leaf and hang there until they die. Um, after that then, they will start uh, releasing those spores and uh, any insect that comes across them will become infected as well. So here's another very beautiful image depicting kind of uh, that last stage there where they have that death grip um, the green part there is the fungus that is taking control of their body and bursting through its head. Um, and, and then this is, I think, maybe like a spider. Um, so this is that, um, whatever that, that part of it is, I remember. Um, um, but that is where all the spores then come from when it is hanging upside down. So why are we talking about the question of will it turn us into zombies? Um, so I know we've talked about it before and we've already just mentioned it in the class already, um, but there's a very popular video game and TV show out right now uh, that kind of answers the question of what if this were to happen in humans. Um, so that series is The Last of Us. Um, so basically the idea is that in this world Cordyceps was mutated and was able to take host in humans. Um, the virus then the only thing it wants is to spread and survive. So basically these zombies will turn everyone else into this fungus. Um, so this is kind of what it looks like in the video game and in the show. You can see that they are very zombified creatures, um, but you can also see that they resemble fungus itself. Um, so in the show they did it a little differently, but in the video game it is pretty much accurate to how it is in real life with insects, where the spores will disperse into the air and that is how others will become infected. So, is this possible in humans? The short answer is no. Um, we are just too, our temperature just can't host fungus like that. Um, average body temperature of a human is 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, and we're just better built than an insect, obviously. Insects are cold-blooded. Um, they can't produce their own body heat. Much simple, more simpler than we are. Um, also, it's hard for a fungus like that to jump from just an insect to a human. Um, so right here is Scott Roberts, he's an assistant professor at Yale, um, and he basically had some quotes talking about why this fungus wouldn't be able to cause like a pandemic or anything, and it's just that the fungi and mold aren't transferable like that between insects and humans. Um, and then that cordyceps really only affects a certain kind of ant, um, specifically ants, and then there are over 12,000 types of different ants out there. So that's already a very likelihood of an ant being infected. Therefore, we are also very unlikely to have this happen to us. 
So, in conclusion, if you're like me and you are an anxious person who sometimes maybe spirals about the end of the world for some reason, um, no, we will not have to worry about The Last of Us happening in real life um, because it's just not possible. Maybe in a couple thousand years, if the world warms up and something happens, I don't know about that. Um, but not going to be in our near future. Um, but yes, I hope you learned a little about cordyceps, how it works, why it's kind of a popular question right now. I've seen it all over my TikTok, uh, just asking the question of when it will happen. Um, but I'm going to reassure you that it will not. Um, and then hopefully some of the scientific research there and that professor kind of eases you and yeah, I just, yeah, it's fascinating. Um, but I'm glad it will not happen with us. I think that's it. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like, what if it's like, you just play a fun ball?